supposedly, supposedly, the transport guy's already here with this car I bought, which is weird because I won the bid on like Thursday, paid for it on Friday. Today's Monday. The car was in Utah. So I'm really genuinely curious if he's actually here. Sometimes they lie and they don't know where they are. But uh, I don't. It says he's parked in the street, and I don't see anybody parked in the street. So, did he mean he's parked in front of my warehouse? There is a car. It, he is here. Wow. This is crazy. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes, I guess. New electric cars, man. So quiet. Well, that was probably the quickest and most pain-free transaction I've had to date with insurance auto auctions. Not saying that they are they're bad, but this this situation was quick, easy, painless. Dude picked this car up in Utah Friday, and he was here last night with it, like ready for this morning. So that was just absolutely unreal. So, I won the bid on this, $925. In case you're wondering what a $925 high bid costs on insurance auto auctions, uh, all in after fees, it's like it was like 14 something. And then I had to pay shipping on top, which was like another 1200 bucks. But 1200 bucks from Utah is pretty damn reasonable, I think, especially since they showed up in literally like 48 hours. That's just unheard of. And don't take this the wrong way, guy speaks English and he's friendly. Usually it's some Russian guy screaming at me in some foreign language. I don't know Russian, but I, that's, I shouldn't say that. But usually it's somebody uh, Eastern European and they're yelling and screaming in some foreign language and you don't know what they're saying and they don't know what they're doing. So this guy was awesome. Anywho, he even put air in the tires for me. The, tire, the front two tires are flat. So this Obviously, a 1985 Ford LTD, uh, mid-size LTD, and you can see the badges. It's got a V8 in it. So most people are familiar with the 1985 Ford LTD LX, which was basically a four-door Mustang. Well, sorry to disappoint you, this isn't one of those. Oh, well, if you come around here into this uh, ashtray of an interior. The LCD LX had a console with a floor shifter. This does not. This has a column shifter. This also has a 140 mile per hour speedometer with certified calibration on the bottom of it. And it doesn't have a uh, tachometer either. The, the LX has a tachometer. So the certified calibration, that means only one thing. This was a police baggage car. Some people called them a LTD SSP. Some people didn't. I think Ford's uh, Ford's designation designation was just police package, but if you're doing any kind of searches online and you use an abbreviation, nobody uses PP. Just yes, yeah, sounds weird. PP. They use SSP. So if I refer to it as as an SSP LTD, don't get upset with me. It's just you know I know Ford didn't call them that. That's what I'm calling it because that's what everybody else calls it. So if you do a Google search. Or Facebook search for SSP LTD, one of these shows up. If you do a Google search or Facebook search for PP LTD, these don't show up. So, uh, my first impression super solid car and mostly straight, except for this front fender, which is why I think it ended up at insurance auto auctions. This fender's crinkled. Header panel is broken, headlight door is broken, uh, and overall, overall, I get the feeling from this car that it was owned by just somebody that drove it every day. I don't think anybody knew this. Whoever had this didn't really know the significance of it uh, because they just drove it. It's got a bypass heater core. I noticed that right away. Uh, The 
just throw it back down there, it's cool. Okay, appreciate it. Nothing being stuck, it's, it's an electronic piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Not like these, right? Oh. <laughs> I also noticed it looks like somebody had a upper radiator hose let go at some point. So you see the staining under the hood, and it's got a new hose, new uh, thermostat outlet, and probably a new thermostat. Oh. Uh, but super solid car. Oh wait, what is that? Department of Defense, Luke Air Force Base. Oh, oh, January 99. I did find numbers under here, ISD. So I, I don't know what ISD is. So maybe it's defense? Huh. And it came from Arizona originally, so I'm wondering if this was a government car. That would make sense why it was never black and white. It just keeps getting more interesting because I had a private pile and he was a government car. But, I mean, it's mostly straight. It's super solid. It's got decent tires on it, some turbine wheels. Interior smells like an ashtray, unfortunately. There's a crack in the windshield. Apparently these windshields aren't the easiest to find, unfortunately. Uh, it's supposed to run. Guess we'll find out here shortly. It's got an extra, oh my God, look at all the, those are all ashes. Are they? I don't know, what are they? Oh, it's like a brake chamber for a truck. It's got an extra seat in the back. I didn't look underneath, but I'm just gonna assume that's solid. Oh yeah, it's solid. It is very solid underneath. Huh. I wasn't looking for one of these cars, but the fact that it was a police car really intrigued me. Or a police package car. Because I like I like old like 70s, 80s police cars. I got a thing for them, they're pretty cool. A little dinger in the door down here. But uh, I'm gonna jump back up to it and see what it does. Hopefully it'll start. Well, that's not good. Almost had a bad time here. They got the red going to the negative, the black going to the positive. It's uh, yeah, that's, that's no, no bueno there. Uh, red to black, black to red. All right. Let's uh, see what she does, I guess. Look for somewhere to put you guys so you can see this. Uh, here, let's try here. I got it moved over here out of the way. Really don't want to park it inside the warehouse with the leaky fuel line. I did pop the trunk open. Let's see what's in here. There's no spare. I think those are the wheels that are supposed to be on it. Oh, I, it's not supposed to have turbines on it. And I don't think these came with the vented steel wheels like the uh, SSP Mustangs did. Someone tried to tell me that's what's supposed to be on here, and I'm like, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, 
what is in here? Oh man, I see tools. There's tools in here. Prepared. Stanley Ratchet. TP man, gotta have the TP. Got a USA Sport fanny pack. I've got too many projects. I don't know what I'm doing with this car. Like I said, I didn't I didn't think I was getting it. It told me I was outbid. I'm like, I'm, I'm not mad that I have it, but I just uh you know didn't think I was winning it. Oh. Ooh, ketchup. Oh wait, that Tabasco sauce, sweet. There's some Tabasco sauce in there. The uh, Duralast uh, ratchet. Some extra brake pads. TP. Yep, TP. What's that? You know, piece of door handles in the base. Yeah. Oh, Stanley, that's what it was. I thought it was Durla. Stanley. You got your fanny pack you always wanted. Yeah. Fanny pack I always wanted. Hey. Anything hiding over here? Ooh, road flare. Oh, there's a. Wait, is this an apple? No, it's power built. Don't have a spare tire well, huh? It's a, a Fairmont have a spare tire well, so I thought it was odd. Different uh, trunk pan style, I guess. I never had one of these. Oh, I did for a moment. I had a LX a while back. I sold to this guy, and he drove it for a long time. That was a cool car. Huh? Oh, the quarter panel is like all. Oh, I had all kinds of Yeah. This front quarter panel. The paint was probably about in the same shape. Yeah. Well, black. Did you did you paint that thing like satin black? I just reprimered it and then. Uh, That's what I thought. Yeah. It was already gray primer. I just re I saw this, this one dude sledge and like never paid me back. He never paid me fully for it. He told me like hundred twenty bucks. And then he broke a ball joint and he abandoned it at a dentist. Oh. And I said, you could just gave me the car back. Yeah. I would have got it. That would have been a... By the time I found out, it was already been there for a week, it got towed. Yeah, that would have been a yeah. more, uh, yeah. You know, give the car back I to mean, the guy that you didn't, yeah. 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 Well, maybe Dan's he thinking of a different one. worse, too, I think. Yeah. That sucks. It was at the gas station, and put it fully in the park, and then, like, it would reverse into a gas station building. Moral of the story, don't sell cars to name, guys named Sludge. That's uh, sound advice for, uh, you know, for a living. All right, well, got some other stuff I gotta do. Well, I'll get back to you this in a little bit. All right, back at this thing. I spent some time and repaired fuel leak so I can actually try to drive this thing and I checked all right so when you buy the repair line kits it comes with these long like brass barbs and hose clamps basically and I that's basically what I did it's just a repair uh, it holds pressure it's not gonna leak and it's got, uh, it's got I cut out the damage line and put a double-ended uh, 
uh, brass like barbed fitting in there and it was all three it was uh, the main line the return the vapor it's up here somewhere I didn't put clamps on the vapor one I just put the little uh, barbed fitting in there I can't grab it it's there I, sh I assure you it's there it's right here it's right here and that's exactly what happened the uh, forklift got it it looks like so it's together it doesn't leak and that's all that matters so these wheels actually look good on here I'm not gonna lie they did they, they, they look good and they 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 fit good they look good but me being me I have to do something about that and some of you might call it a uh, regression but uh oh personal preference i guess and i was able to trade a fairmont rear bumper for a set of oem steel wheels with pretty decent tires on them uh don't really care about the white wall might have to do something about that but these are technically the correct wheels for this car believe it or not and that's a cicada somewhere in the back of my truck. To find them. And I also was able to finagle uh, a set of the stock hubcaps that are supposed to be on this car out of the guy. So, not a bad trade for a Fairmont bumper. Well, not a bad trade for a Fairmont bumper I wasn't doing anything with. So I'm pretty happy about that. The tires are in really good shape. They're a little, uh, a little on the small side, they're like one size smaller than what's supposed to be on the car. But I'm not worried about it. I'm trying to figure out where that cicada's at in here. Because I got uh, my eBay girl here right now. She said she hasn't seen any cicadas by her. She's very disappointed because she wants them for her chickens. So I'm trying to figure out where this guy's at in here. So they like, look, I got you a cicada for your chickens. But I don't know. So I'm gonna throw those on right now and get back to you guys in a few minutes here. All right, all right, now we're getting somewhere. It's looking a little better. That's a big helicopter. Yeah, there we go. Now it's looking a little more appropriate. more things I could do to it right now. Well, three I'm thinking off the top of my head that I gotta take care of. It just don't sit right with me. I know, it just comes down to personal preference and all, but those badges did not belong in this car. They, uh, I mean, you can only try to look like a Mustang so much. And guess what? This thing will never look like a Mustang. Yeah, 5 -0. Oh, I assure you, this motor is nothing to write home about. It is not, um, it's not the powerhouse that someone thought this was with the, putting those badges on there. But I need to move the white walls to the inside, see? So I know I should have done that off the car, but I guess I got to take them back off and do it again. That was hard work, but it had to be done because, see, now it just looks right. See, the white walls on the outside just didn't look right on this car. But now that I flipped them to the inside, it looks perfect. So this is basically what the car would have looked like when it was new. Those wheels, those hubcaps, black wall tires, you know, they didn't flip the white walls to the outside, they flipped them to the inside like I just did. Alright, I'm going to take it for a quick ride before I eat my lunch. Uh, as luck would have it, I had a brand newish uh, six-year-old battery sitting in the warehouse that got out of a storage locker. So, and as luck would even have it again, it holds a charge. So. 
can't go wrong. Yes, yes, I know. Black is positive, red is negative. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right, let me climb into my ashtray. <sighs> Listen to that power, that 5.0 power. Spoiler alert, it's not fast. I really should turn that hose off. Brakes are a little spongy. title to oh hear that it broke loose in second gear damn this one just wants to go doesn't it maybe it is a Mustang after all so unnatural I keep wanting to grab the floor because this feels like you're sitting like the seating position and everything just naturally feels like a fox body Mustang so I keep wanting to grab the floor shifter that's not there it's just having a shifter on the column is just so unnatural in this car you have no idea if you, if you don't have any experience driving uh, like fox body Mustangs and whatnot it's it, it's just so unnatural having to reach up grab the column but uh I see a little smoke coming off under the hood. We better investigate that. We don't want any uh, fires. Don't mind that. It's uh, just chilling. Oh, it smells like burning oil. Oh yeah, it's burning some oil. this side oh you guys can't see it but the passenger side exhaust manifold is coated in oil so this thing needs valve cover gaskets just like the uh, wagon did but uh, yep I'm gonna eat my lunch and uh, see you guys in a little bit I can stick this back in there. Perfect, I fixed it. Looks better already. Better already. So, I don't know what to do with this car besides fix the find and replace the headlight bezel and hey, straighten out this fender. I don't really need any more projects. I really don't. I really want to get working on uh, Private Pile and Gator, but I kind of do like this thing. I'm just not sure what to do. Wow, that looks that looks a million times better with uh, the correct wheels and caps on it. It really does. I, you might not agree with me, but I agree with myself, and that's all that matters. Oh. I'm just not sure what to do. I really didn't want to do any more Fox Body projects. 
really don't need any more projects right now in general. Engine seems to run pretty, pretty okay. It's not a, you know, screaming powerhouse. It's just a CFI motor. Transmission shifts. I mean, it's, uh, shifts pretty hard, actually. I don't know if somebody did something to it or if it's just, uh, tired and that's how it's shifting. But, uh, it, uh, it put me back into my seat and second gear back there and, uh, the, the back end of the car shifted over and the tires broke loose so that was a little surprising to be totally honest with you I wasn't expecting that out of it but so let's say I do some work on it and make it a, a good driver what do I have to do well for starters replace the valve cover gaskets all right I'd probably have to replace the heater core which kind of sucks because it's an AC car Anybody that has a Fox body that's an AC car and you got to replace the heater core knows it's kind of a pain. The cars that did not have AC, it, well, it's a it's a piece of cake. But unfortunately, it's 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 an AC car, so dash pretty much has to come out. I believe I believe that's the case. Could be wrong. Yep, dash has to come out. I believe, which isn't the end of the world because if I find a nicer dashboard, then I can just kill two birds in one stone. So, at the bare minimum, to make it a good driver, valve cover gaskets, uh, heater core, uh, what else? Probably the usual plugs, wires, cap, rotor, you know, all the, all the usual uh, suspects. Looks like it's got newer brakes on it. I noticed when I pulled the wheels off. Uh, I would definitely have to give this interior a real good bath because I, I hate cigarettes so much. Like, I hate the smell. I hate, it's just, ugh, just makes me feel nasty. So, I'd really have to do some work on cleaning up this interior. Uh, most of this paint will actually buff out. I don't know what this chalky substance is, but... It actually comes off with a razor blade and it's got paint underneath so I'm not sure what that is exactly but it does come off so I'm kind of wonder if uh, it'll if I give it like a like a hot pressure washer I wonder if it'll all come off of there reminds me I gotta go turn that hose off before I forget <laughs> Man, that looks so much better. That's just, wheels and tires just make all the difference on it. Now it actually looks like what it is, which is a unmarked squad car. So if I keep it, well, I gotta get a windshield too. Apparently those are hard to find. This car's got no rust on it anywhere, which is awesome for Fox body. Uh, if I keep it, do I pull the motor and trans out and refresh and everything, or do I replace the motor and trans? Now, I don't know if you know this, I'm not a fan of automatics. Well, I, I'll, like, something like this has an automatic. It's fine. It's, it, it's, it's fine. It, I could deal with it. Something like that, I'd rather have a manual trans in it. So, if I talk about keeping it, I'm gonna have to upgrade the trans. Now, if I go through the trouble of upgrading the trans, I might as well upgrade the motor. But I have options. This would be absolutely fantastic in there, but way overkill. Um, it honestly, it'd probably cost me about 2,500 just to get this motor freshened up and ready to go in something. And I'm not even sure what I'm doing with it yet. And for those that don't know, this is a Roush uh, C3 uh, Ford Motorsport uh, NASCAR engine. So it's it's the real deal. I, uh, I'm not messing around. That thing's uh, <laughs> that thing uh, probably puts out a reliable 650 horsepower, like naturally aspirated, and you can drive all day at you know 8,000 RPM. 
but that'd be that'd be overkill that just that'd be too much however the one next to it that's a 302 based 347 stroker it's already got a fox body double hump pan on it and I don't know too much about it believe it or not I found that in a storage locker it had all the receipts with it from when it was built and dyno tested and everything and I think the car that it was in was rusted out and the guy took it apart but it looks just looking at it real briefly like I did before I shoved it under here it looks like it's a good motor and I don't have I don't have much money into it so <laughs> Um, I do have that option. So that's not a, you know, I've been trying to figure out what to do with that motor and well, that's, that wouldn't be such a bad idea to be totally, totally honest with you. Oh, uh, what else I got floating around here? I do have a couple of extra uh, TKO transmissions floating around. I also have a couple good known good T5s The bell housings clutches everything so I could put together a pretty nice little motor and trans for this car I know I've got a couple SN95 pedal assemblies, but I don't know if I have uh, Any Fox ones I'd have to look Got a scat pack motor uh, This one belongs to a buddy, but I actually have one that's sitting in my other buddy's warehouse I mean, that'd be cool, but I'm not a Mopar guy. I like Fords. I can't do that. And 48, I don't. I got nothing against people that do the LS swaps. It's just not for me. Sorry. I do have this big block Ford 429 or 460. I'm not sure what it is. I never. Maybe I'll pull it out one of these days and we'll go over it together. That actually came out of a storage locker, also, believe it or not. It looks like it's got some goodies on it. So, there's another manual trans down there. I there's I think I have a couple 5.0 roller motors sitting under here, little miles on them. I know I got another one sitting at home. So, I've got options. I don't know what I'm doing with that. It's a supercharged Coyote that came out of a white 2014 that I took apart. That one technically doesn't have a a home dusting for it yet. But uh yeah, now I'm just getting way ahead of myself. So a T5 over there. So what do you think I should do with the car? What would you do with it if it was your car? Oh, would love to hear in the comments. Uh so for now, uh I think I'm just gonna Make it look better. Or I get the Ford Oval for the grill. Find a headlight bezel, parking light. Maybe try and straighten out the fender a little bit. And maybe clean up the paint. I'm not sure. See what I have time for because uh, I, I really want to get working on a private pile like soon. That's kind of why I, I cleaned out the spot in here. So I can move the wagon home. As soon as the title comes, I'm gonna drive this home and get private pile over here so I can start working on him. So Alright, well, thanks for hanging out, watching. Uh, let me know. What do you think I should do with this thing? I'd love to hear it.